Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and today my boys before we get started I do want to go ahead and say as of recording this video today we have just reached 1,000 subscribers uh, so thank you to everybody that has subscribed comment or like the videos it is greatly appreciated and it truly means a lot to me so I just wanted to take the time to say thank you and I want to go ahead and keep pushing this forward and see how far we can go and I love interacting with you guys and it just you know your support and kind words do mean a lot to me um, so I just wanted to take the time to say thank you for that and I cannot wait to see what the future holds but getting all of that out of the way my boys let's go ahead and get started in today's video what I wanted to go ahead and do like I mentioned in my last video is do a gameplay for you so if you like the content that you see today go ahead and drop a like it's greatly appreciated and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you're seeing today go ahead and subscribe for more content like this um, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Teresa event and we're gonna do some gameplay on that now whether I do both events today uh, kind of depends on how long the first level takes always starts off here um, because it may get a bit lengthy because I do want to go ahead into detail a little bit about Teresa and kind of look into her a little bit further um, so we will see if we do both gameplays uh, but jumping into the first one it is path now as you can see I have done this level I wanted to go ahead and get a bit of gameplay with Teresa just to get a feel for her before I did a video so I went ahead and did that um, and got the objectives for that so like I mentioned I did want to go ahead and look into Teresa before we just hop straight into it and kind of go over her her weapons a bit of her skills and things like that so if you go over to Teresa and I wanted to go over a stigma that was mentioned to me in the comments section um, shout out to you uh, we're gonna go ahead and look over that stigma um, a little bit because it's pretty OP now the weapon is OP as well God tier my boys oath of Judah this is what makes Teresa broken in a sense um, so we're gonna go ahead and look over that really quickly as well um, now this is the oath of Judah summons and deploys the weapon immobilizing enemies within range for six seconds and shooting 13 light spears light spears will attack random enemies one by one dealing lightning damage equal to 150 percent of attack I will definitely show that weapon skill off it is pretty broken my boys um, now the other skill witness a pledge characters own attacks have a 10% chance of marking enemies with a holy light brand that lasts for six seconds marked enemies receive an additional 233 lightning damage can only be triggered once every 13 seconds um, so that is fantastic amount of damage uh, along with the weapon skill um, you can see how this weapon alone is said to be a Valkyrie all on its own so you definitely if you get Teresa and um, the Oath of Judah comes around you definitely definitely want this weapon it is OP God tier broken now with that being said we're gonna look at the stigma that I was talking about and it's this middle piece right here the May pool party now this stigma right here is very interesting it increases damage by 12% when attacking enemies increases their damage taken by 10% for four seconds with the cooldown of eight seconds that is top tier my boys as far as a mid stigma goes individually on its own increases damage by 12% and then when attacking enemies increases their damage taken by 10% so you're debuffing while buffing yourself that is a fantastic stigma skill on its own and then you can see the set skills right here uh, pretty good as well you get these homo uh, uh, homo king I said homo my bad my boys homo king knocking down surround surrounding enemies and dealing physical damage equal to 450 percent of attack um, that's a two set that is pretty cool I mean you have a 12 percent chance of summoning that king and then the three set all allies including illusions receive a flame wreath when homo king appears dealing 893 fire damage every 0.5 seconds to surrounding enemies Flame Reef lasts for six seconds. So you can see the set skills are pretty cool. Um, but that individual Stigmata skill right there is fantastic. So you definitely, whenever this May pool party comes around, want to go for that one right there, my boys. That's pretty OP. Um, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. That's what I wanted to go over really quickly. Um, and then you can see the Valkyrie features here. Middle range, AOE suppressing, long tack range, fast SP recovery, weapon skill boost damage. So you're able to just 
kind of spam her ultimate and spam her weapon skill um, and that's what makes Teresa with the Oath of Judah um, a fantastic Valkyrie and makes her someone you want to go ahead and acquire um, but let's jump straight into it and I can show you what I mean by that so comment below um, and let me know if you've done this event let me know if you like this Teresa or if you like the mecha type I believe um, which one do you prefer more this one or the mecha type as far as gameplay style the way they operate the way they attack and their ultimates and things of that nature um, I'm curious to find out who do you like better um, and you can go ahead and comment that below um, as for me personally I think I may like this one this Valkyrie uh, Teresa a little bit better than the mecha type I do like the mecha type she's really cool um, she's very I want to say DPS heavy and her ultimates are pretty cool as well um, but I think I just like this one's gameplay style better but it helps to have this Oath of Judah stigma or not stigma uh, weapon on her so it definitely helps so uh, we have you know her attacks are pretty basic um, as far as you know you just have this basic attack right here which has good range as you can see pretty rangy um, and then you have the hold attack where you can hold and it shoots it out straight forward so that's pretty cool as well but what makes her OP is this weapon skill my boy look at this look at this now they're stuck in place and if you want to go ahead and use her ultimate you can go ahead and do that and there's nothing they can do about it so you do this to a boss and it's pretty much one and done my boys it's pretty much a wrap that boss is going to be done so with the oath of judah and this teresa um she runs through bosses like no one's business because what you could just keep on doing is this weapon skill keep that boss in place and mobilize them in a sense and then you could just go ahead and you know attack 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 do tremendous amount of damage um spam her ultimate because she recovers sp very quickly um and it's just it makes her makes her kind of broken my boys so you go ahead and shoot that does a lot of damage that hold attack right there um and so let me go ahead and do look you could just spam this weapon skill and then go right into the ult it's it's out of control it is out of control and teresa is um you know pretty different from the other valkyries um, when it comes to her attacks um and it comes to her range her evasion is very similar to like valkyrie triumph she does that little twirl um, and gets out of the way so that's um, pretty cool and i believe it's a time fracture on her evasion if i'm not mistaken we can go ahead and see that if i can get one of these guys to attack yep here we go nope i missed um come on go ahead and attack and i missed i hate these guys attacks because it's like so delayed it's so I'm not even gonna wait for it I believe it's a time fracture <laughs> and so that is that is pretty cool as well um, but you can see these guys are stuck they can't do anything so I really do enjoy and look it's back again spam <laughs> so I do really like this Teresa a lot this weapon is OP broken um, and there's just not much the enemies can do about it um, so we can go ahead and spam it again and just keep that keep that rolling my boys uh, so let me go ahead and get out of the way here um, I do apologize we got a bit bit of lag bit of lag um, phone's hot again so I do apologize about that my boys let's do the ultimate and you can see the amount of damage that does my boys so when you get enough SP you can go ahead and do the weapon skill and then you want to go ahead and do the ultimate because uh, what that's going to do is maximum damage um, and make sure that she does tremendous amount of attacks as well so that's something to keep in mind when you're using this Teresa with this weapon in particular um, is you do the weapon skill have them frozen in place and then you go ahead and do that ultimate and it really is what does the damage for you so let's go over here and let's see I'm going to go ahead and try and get that Oh, 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 dodge that. I'm going to go ahead and try and get that uh, ultimate and the weapon skill together. Um, so let's see if we can get that going. Did I get the dodge? I didn't get the dodge. I thought I got the dodge. All right, let's see if we get the dodge. There we go. Did we get the dodge? There we go. There's the time fracture. All right, so let me see. I think, uh, let me see if we have enough SP. No, we don't. See if I can gather more SP here. Really quick. Dodge that. Did I dodge? I don't think I dodged. 
All right, let's go ahead and um, let me get a few more. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna do the weapon skill. There we go. And then we're gonna do, there you go. And look, look at the damage. Oh my, she is broken. You just saw that man's health just melt. It just melted all the way down. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so that is the Teresa right there um, with the Oath of Judah. And you can just see how well that weapon skill with her ultimate, just how, how well it, it, it works together. And you just saw that man's health just melt away. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump over um, to the next gameplay. Um, I'm going to try and make this one quick. Now, as far as this Teresa, this is the Violet Executor. Um, like I mentioned, I do like this one a lot. I like her uh, aesthetics, her looks as well. Um, she just looks really, really cool. I love that outfit. I like how it shimmers right there. Um, but basically, this is a uh, DPS heavy, if I'm not mistaken, type of Teresa. So middle range, flexible DPS. Um, also has a long range AOE knockback attack, which is really cool and relies on bleeding status and very powerful passive skills. Um, so that is awesome. You can see the formation right there. And then the equipment right here. And you have the blood embrace that is the weapon um, and it summons and deploys the weapon sending enemies within range floating and slashing them once every 0.25 seconds for the next two seconds enemies receive physical damage equal to 135 percent of attack from floating so you want them to be in the air because they're going to receive more damage um, and each slash so slashes bleed enemies dealing 256 physical damage every half second for five seconds and then her blood craze increases character's physical damage done to bleeding enemies by 18%. So you can see how she relies heavy on the bleeds and that's what's gonna increase her damage output that much more. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you get that done first and then really output the damage after that. So um, let's go ahead, we're just gonna take this Night Moonbeam friend right here and let's jump straight into it um, and like I mentioned just gonna go ahead and try and knock this one out really quickly because I know this video is getting a tad bit lengthy as it is and I feel like we're gonna encounter some lag maybe we'll do a single YOLO at the end we'll see we'll see depending on how long this takes so hopefully I can knock this out quickly um, but I do like I mentioned love her attacks on how she attacks um, because she can be very long range with her hold um, and then I also like her ultimate and her weapon skill as well. They work really well together and they can do some great damage also. So overall, um, Teresa, fantastic. I love her gameplay style so far um, and I like how she operates. So definitely a Valkyrie I'm gonna be going for my boys, definitely. All right, so let's go ahead and do some work here. So we're gonna go ahead and tack here. So very similar to the last Teresa. And oh, 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 I, I just got into a barrage of guys here. And then you can see that the AOE, or not AOE, but the, the range right there with the hold. Um, you can see how far it goes. Um, does good damage there. And then you can see with her regular attacks here, um, does some pretty good damage as well. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just like with the other Teresa, you want to get enough SP up so you can do the weapon skill as well as the ultimate because they work very well together. And we're gonna go ahead and do that, dodge that. Okay, we got him taken care of. Um, and so with the next enemy, I'll go ahead and, and do that. I thought I dodged that, my boys. Okay, there we go, we got the dodge. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show it here. So let me get actually get some more really quickly, dodge that. Get these slices in, dodge that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do it right here because they're grouped up, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the ultimate and put in some work right here my boys dodge that and you can see how much damage she's able to do when she's got this ultimate working and it really knocks them back and um, really keeps them from uh, being able to attack you really well so I love the ultimate works really great in conjunction with the weapon skill because the weapon skill again floats them and that's what you want and then you can go ahead and attack and deal maximum damage right there as well as it um, provides some bleed also uh, so that's something that you want to go ahead and keep in mind as well when you're playing with her so let's go ahead and try and get her SP back up while we dodge that get out the way okay I, all right I thought I dodged that come on let's go ahead and get some more attacks in here nope stop stop that stop turning the tracks dodge that right there and 
Get some more hits in. Let me go pick this up just because it's okay. Okay. I'm trying to pick something up. All right. And let's do this because they're kind of right next to each other. Nope. I only got one. That's okay. All right. Yep. He, she got away. She got away. All right. That's okay. We got the shield down. Dodge that. Okay. I thought they were going to attack me there. Let's see if we can get the... Yep. 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 And dodge. Okay. Yep. Stop there. All right. There we go. All right, now we're putting in some work. Now we're putting in some work. There we go. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for somebody to drop some S SP right here. So we got some more there. All right, and we're putting in some more heavy work. Heavy work. Dodge all that. Let's see if we can get a couple of people there. There we go. I want to develop a little more SP. Um, you can see the amount of people that are here right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to do this one right here. And then we're going to do the ultimate. And now we're going to put in some serious work, my boys. Serious work right here. And there's just nothing that they can do. Nothing that they can do. <laughs> All right, now we got the boss here. Oh, I forgot it was um, it was Ganesha. I forgot. All right, let's go ahead and put some serious work into Ganesha here. All right. Let's go ahead and ooh ooh pick up all this pick up all this i like that oh we got the time fracture there all right get that going dodge that let's do a little charge here all right and let's see if we can get some more sp built up here there we go yeah now we're doing some serious work there we go there we go dodge that dodge that okay where'd you go where'd you go there you are all right, put in some work. Oh, let me get the SP. Let me get the SP. Oh, I think I dodged too early. There we go. All right, gonna go ahead and do this here. Get the, oh, I think I totally missed. That's okay. That's okay, because we're just gonna butcher him here. Look at the look at the health melting, my boys. I know Night Moonbeam is helping, and she's OP too. Um, but yeah, we're melting that guy's health together. All right, so we got more melting going. <laughs> All right, let me pick this up. We're going to do the skill right here. Hopefully, hopefully he stays. All right, for a little bit. He stayed for a little bit. Do a little bit there. All right, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Um, so you can see that these Teresas can dish out great damage, but they're also great support as well. Um, so they're very well-rounded, I would say. Very well-rounded Valkyries. Um, and I would love to have either one of them, to be honest with you. So... That is the gameplay, my boys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it slightly entertaining and slightly informative as well. Let's go ahead and end it on a YOLO single, and then we'll get out of here, all right, my boys? And then after that, I am saving my crystals because Teresa is coming, and I advise you to do the same as well. Um, so let's quickly jump over to the supply, and we're going to go ahead and do it on the focus supply to see if we get lucky on anything there. So like I mentioned before, save your crystals. Teresa is coming, so that way you can go ahead and try and obtain her. Now you can always um, uh, grind out her fragments as well, so you don't have to go ahead and summon for her. Um, but if you want to, like I mentioned, save your crystals, so that way you can grind her out, or not grind her out. <laughs> so that way you can um, try and pull for her if you want to. Um, so let's see, do we get anything here? Nope, all right, no problem my boys, no problem. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and save the crystals from here on out. But anyways, my boys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. But I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GC, and I'm out.